In this video, I'll help you migrate a WordPress or WooCommerce site from a subdomain to replace your live site completely. We'll use a free plugin called Migrate Guru for this because it causes zero downtime, works with all major web hosts, and takes just a couple of clicks to use. Firstly, if you're using a caching plugin, please clear your caches and disable it. Also disable any firewall and redirection plugins. These plugins can cause issues during migration, so you can re-enable them after it's done. Secondly, please take a backup of both your subdomain and the site that you want to migrate to. This may feel tiresome, but it's really important. We need to make sure that these are complete backups and 100% reliable. So I'd recommend trying out a plugin BlogWord. Lastly, if you have transactions happening regularly on your WooCommerce or WordPress site, please use a plugin like this to put it into maintenance mode. This will ensure that no changes are happening on your site during the migration, which can trigger different errors. All right, now that we're ready, let's start the migration process using the free plugin Migrate Guru. Firstly, install and activate Migrate Guru on your subdomain. Then add the email ID connected to that site that you want to migrate. You can select the host you're migrating to and then enter the site details of the target site. There's helpful directions here and additional fields below. Click Migrate and you're done. Now we'll go back for a moment because if your host wasn't mentioned on this screen, then you can select cPanel or FTP. If you don't have these details, here's how to find them. Then just click Migrate and that's it. Your site will be moved. Now, I have three bonus tips that you should do after migration. Firstly, disable maintenance mode and clear all the caches of your site. If you don't know how, check the first pinned comment below. I'll add a link to a blog about this. Then, re-enable all the plugins that you deactivated before. And lastly, some visitors may end up on your subdomain and see a 404 error. So we should redirect that URL to the new main site. Let me show you how. First, log into your FTP client, then go to the server menu and enable the option to see hidden files. Then we find the HT access file and download it. Next, find the line with hashtag begin WordPress and hashtag end, and between them, add this line of code that I'm showing here. Replace example.com with your main domain name and subdomain with the name of the subdomain that you have moved. For this rewrite rule line, only put www in it if your URL actually uses it. That's it. Now there are two most common errors that you may face, so I'll add both links one by one above for you with videos that show you how to solve them. Here's another video I thought you'd like. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I'll see you again next week.